number one question I get asked all the time is how do I go from here to here? How do I lose weight? How do I run a faster run? How do I make more sales? How do I hit my targets, hit my budgets? How do I improve the service? And the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, if you keep doing the same thing as you've always done, you're gonna get the same result. So, if you wanna do something, if you wanna get a different result, you gotta do something different. Welcome to JT in the Raw Show 169, coming to you live from Hamilton Island. This is one of the most gorgeous places in Australia and it is fantastic. And this week, it is absolutely humming with energy because it's the Anytime Fitness National Conference. Over my shoulder here is a bunch of Anytime franchisees walking the talk. They are out there training their butts off, running up and down the beach, push-ups, sit-ups, burpees, beach sprints. I think their shirts are about to come off and they're about to hit the water. As you can probably hear the guys in the background busting it out today. In fact, I just heard the music. I'm not sure when Hanson's M-Bop started to become the number one song to work out to. So yesterday, uh, last night, we were at a, uh, a keynote presentation and it was an amazing presentation where the lady was talking about, uh, her name was Sasha, and Sasha was talking about uh, running ultra marathons. And she was kind of saying that if you wanted to do something different, if you wanted to achieve something different, then you had to do something different. And I find a lot in business is that we keep going the same route. So today's show is all about the number one thing you need to do in business and in life in order to achieve a different result. So a big shout out today obviously goes to all the Anytime franchisees that are up here on Hamilton Island, but a bigger shout out to me goes to the team at head office of Anytime for inviting me up to speak. So this morning I get to do the keynote opening present, uh, the keynote presentation for today, to open up today, uh, and then I've got quite a few uh, presentations, uh, three I think today, and then one again uh, tomorrow on a panel tomorrow with Dr. Paul Bedford. And because I've got to do this keynote coming up, I am strapped for time. So this will be a pretty short JT in the raw, but hopefully really impactful. So here's my thought. One of the things that I get asked all the time, particularly around uh, people that want to lose weight or particularly around people that want to achieve something from a fitness perspective is they're like, okay, well, what have I got to do? What do I need to do in my training in order to lose weight? Or what do I need to do in my training to get stronger? And I'm no personal trainer, so I'm not the right person to ask anymore because I'm a long way out of that game. But what I do know is that if you keep doing whatever you're currently doing, you're not gonna lose weight. You're not gonna run faster. You're not gonna get stronger. What we need to do is we need to do something different, different to what we have done. One of my goals next year is to, go, to run my fourth marathon. And my goal is to run that faster than my third marathon. And what I know is that if I want to do that, I've got to do something different in my training to what I did for my third marathon. Now, whether we're talking about life or whether we're talking about business, it's exactly the same principles. Exactly the same principles. So in business, if your sales are here and you want your sales to be there, here, there, if you keep doing exactly the same thing, you're gonna get this same result. There's one thing you need to do in sales, it's something different. It might be spending more time building rapport to what you're currently doing. It might be spending more time going through the benefits of your product before asking for the sale. It might be understanding your customer's pain points before even entering that price presentation. So there are multiple things that we can do around that sales process differently to close more sales. If it's a service issue that we have in our business, we have to sit back and we have to analyze the service level that we're giving. We have to self-evaluate and then we have to do something different. That, ladies and gentlemen, is potentially the biggest challenge that we have in business and in life, being different to what we've done. 
You see, the status quo is the easy option for us. The status quo of doing exactly the same thing is the easy option. The challenge for us is when we have to do something different. Now, sometimes in business, sometimes in life, but in business, sometimes we need these, those, these outside eyes to look at the process that we're doing to identify where there is an opportunity to do something different. Sometimes we have that. Other times we don't, and we might need to look for that. Or sometimes we need to be honest with ourselves, and we need to go, this isn't right, I need to do something different. Now, that number one difference takes discipline. It takes courage for us to do that different thing in order to get better because it'll be hard, it'll be complex. There'll be um, obstacles that'll be thrown at us. But if we want to improve that sales process, we've got to stick with it. We've got to have that discipline. Ladies and gentlemen, the reality in business and the reality in life is it is easy to keep doing the same thing we've always done. That is the easy option. And it's easy to whinge and bitch and complain that that isn't actually achieving the results that we want. So for us, if we want to change the results that we're getting, we have to change the process that we're going through. So the number one thing that we need to do to improve performance in anything is do something different. Do something different to what you've always done. If this makes sense to you, if this resonates for you, give me a love heart right now. Share with me right now if this makes sense to you, what I'm saying. Because I'm, I get frustrated as a business coach, I get frustrated as somebody, just as a human being, I guess, where people say, well, I can't get what I want. Well, the reason you're not getting what you want is you keep doing what you want. You keep doing the same thing that you've always done. If you wanna lose weight, then you've got to change your habits whatever they may be. If you want to run that fun run, you've got to do something different. You can't keep doing the same thing, and business is exactly the same. If you keep losing staff, if you've got high churn of staff, then you need to evaluate why we've got high churn of staff, and we need to do something different. And that takes courage, it takes discipline, and it takes the ability to evaluate the situation and work out potentially what that strategy may be like. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed JJ Narua 169 coming to you live from Hamilton Island. It looks like a pretty cool place. Um, that's Dr. Paul Bedford down there. Are you watching Paul? If you're watching Paul, give us a wave. If you're watching Paul, give us a wave. There he is. That's him. He is photobombing. I really hope you got some value out of today's show. Today's show was to challenge the way you normally do things. Because if you want to get better, if you want to do things, if you want to take your performance from here to here, change your body shape, change your mindset, whatever it may be, you have to do one thing. And that is something different. And that is something different. Our catchphrase at Active Management is think and then do different. Think and then do different. But that is not quote of the week. Quote of the week, ladies and gentlemen, is this. If you want to achieve something different, then you need to do something different. If you want to achieve something different, then you need to do something different. A quick show this morning. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any value out of the show, I'd be really grateful if you would share the show or that you would tag anybody in the comments below to have them start thinking about how they or what they need to do different to have the courage to do something different and therefore achieve something different. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been tuned in to JT in the Raw. Same time, same place, every week. And I'll catch you on the flip side.